All right, I'm sorry about that. The camera cut off before I could get this placed back in for you, but you reverse the install or uninstall step to reinstall it, obviously. Then you take your carpet, you tuck it back. This little edge here can be finicky. There you go, good as new. And check this out. At this point, the car will now recognize the key fob. Obviously our washer fluid is still low. Yeah, I know. Keys here. Drop them in my lap. Throw it in reverse. See it says searching for GPS. I don't know if it's letting you see that because of the way the contrast is. Um, anyway, the T-cam is now uh, hunting for our our position and everything but you can see that we're we're ready to roll don't have to put the keys in the basket nothing like that you have now hard reset your T cam that's what you need to do if you get that little SOS message and you got to put the keys in the box and use the manual key to get in the door and everybody's looking at you while your nice $60,000 luxury car is screaming that you're, that you're violating it or something so Anyway, um, just just a little thing. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Our GPS updated. Uh, just a little thing to try and give back to the community there. A little step-by-step -step with, with video on how to reset your T-cam. Um, yeah, you really shouldn't have to be doing this on a luxury car. It's been an issue with Volvo for, for over a year now. They can't fix it. They don't know how to fix it. Um, the dealership, uh, if you're like, oh, I'll just take it to the dealer, you know what they'll do? The same thing I just showed you how to do. Or, or they'll order a new T-cam and they'll install that and it'll work for a while until it does this and just needs to be restarted. It's just a quirk that this car has. Uh, it's one of the, one of the things that frustrates me about it. Um, so anyway, you know, I really hope that this helps somebody, you know, makes your, makes your day a little better. Uh, helps you to helps you get from point A to point B and avoid a uh, time-consuming dealership visit. Anyway, that's all. Again, I'm sorry this turned into a three-part video. I really wanted it to be a one-part video, but I kept pressing the wrong button or running out of storage or whatever my phone does that required me to, um, you know, make multiple videos. Anyway, be safe, have fun, and hopefully this helps.